I'm what you call a bad mother. Well, at least that's what I think I am, a bad mother. I don't think I always was a bad mother, but now I am. I have a son, he's 15, and I want to be a good mother to him, but I can't be. I want to be, I just can't. My son was born when I was 16. I didn't mean to have a child. I was, um, I didn't have a choice about it. I was, it's not something I like to talk about. I, I didn't have parents to support or help. I had to do it alone, raise my baby alone. So I did. I, I left school, I got a job, I got a little flat to live in. I had my baby and it turned out that he had a disability, an intellectual disability, but that didn't matter to me. He was my baby and I loved him so, so much. Things were hard, but we got by and I was a good mother. He, he used to throw tantrums sometimes. They said it was because of his disability but I was always able to calm him down. I was a good mother. Things started to change when he got to 12, round about 12. All of a sudden he was strong and I couldn't calm him down anymore. He was too strong. All of a sudden he was big and all I could see when I looked at him was his father. All I could see was the man who hurt me. So I went to them and I told them that I didn't want my little boy anymore. They, they tried to help, I suppose, but I didn't want their help. I just didn't want my son near me. I was so afraid. I didn't want to be anywhere near him. So I became a bad mother and I abandoned my son. Now he lives with foster carers, Jillian and Brad, and I still get to see him sometimes. Jillian says that I'm not a bad mother. She says that I'm just a mother who got dealt a really bad hand. She says that there are a few people who could have dealt with such a bad hand and still done okay, including her. She said that I'm actually a good mother who, um, who tried really hard to give my son such a good start in life, but I don't know. I think it's going to take more than that to convince me. It's nice of her to try though. When I see my son now, I'm, I'm starting, just starting to see past the violence, especially when he holds his hand out to mine. It's when I, I see the hand of the little boy that I loved. I don't know, maybe that's me starting to feel like a mother again. There are many reasons why parents sometimes struggle to care for their children. And as you have just seen, some reasons that are often not of their own making or their fault. Every day of their lives, these parents are dealing with issues that it could be fully expected would overcome and defeat most, if not all of us, without the right help and support from others. Every year, thousands of Queensland children are cared for by foster and kinship carers. These remarkable people take to their hearts not only the children in their care, but also their families. PCARE salutes these carers. We salute you for having the compassion to not unfairly or harshly judge the parents of the children who enter your care. We thank you for your wisdom in helping the children in your care understand the reasons why they cannot live with their own families, at least for a while. And we thank you for your commitment to always placing the needs of these children above all others. For your compassion, your wisdom, and your unswerving commitment to children and young people, we thank you.